rights or not. These deserve equal rights or not. These deserve equal rights or not. I believe, well, let me make very clear here. First on the issue of sin. I believe, well, let me make very clear here. First on the issue of sin. The union between one man and one woman, period. No more complicated than that. I think the position I take, based on not ideology, but based on pragmatism. My experiences, not as an elected official, but based on my personal experiences as a United States Army Reserve officer. What I saw happening all too often was a soldier would take a reenlistment bonus and get a very large, fat uh, check from Uncle Sam. And suddenly, when the reserve unit would get mobilized for Iraq or Afghanistan, just all of a sudden say that they're gay and get out. I didn't think that was right. I didn't think that was fair. Extending federal benefits, I think that's a private decision for individuals. I believe, though, however, we shouldn't be crossing the line to marriage. But in terms of federal benefits, individuals to serve, whether they're heterosexual or homosexual, shouldn't matter one iota. Individuals to serve, whether they're heterosexual or homosexual, shouldn't matter one iota. I'm not quite sure whether Charles answered the question. And the reason why, I'm not quite sure whether Charles answered the question. And the reason why is I thought I heard him say that don't ask, don't tell has a loophole. And he didn't want people re-enlisting, getting the benefit, and then all of a sudden saying that they're gay. And somehow saying that they're gay, in his mind, makes them less able to serve. I believe, well, let me make very clear here. First off, I believe that marriage is a union between one man and one woman, period. No more complicated than that. I believe that marriage is a union between one man and one woman, period. No more complicated than that. From my experience as a jack officer, from my experience as a jack officer, as a jack officer, from my experience as a jack officer, clear and simple. As I stated before, I believe that marriage is a union between one man and one woman. Saying that they're gay, in his mind, makes them less able to serve. Something that should be decided by each of the states, and don't believe that the federal government should interfere. This is a state decision, it is not a federal decision. Saying that they're gay, in his mind, makes them less able to serve. Gay officers and enlisted people that I have spoken to who have left the service said that, you know, they don't believe that their preference in any way interfered with their ability to defend the country. And don't ask, don't tell's time has come and gone. I also think that Charles said as well that he believes that they should serve. So I'm somewhat confused because I don't think that it should be considered a loophole. You led the state senate, which approved benefits equal to marriage for same-sex couples, to provide true marriage equality to gay couples, federal benefits would have to be extended in the same way. Is, is that what you want? We also believe that civil unions is a contractual right. When HB 444 was passed by the legislature, it was passed in an amended version that gave everyone the rights to civil union, not just same-sex couples, but also heterosexual couples. Government should not determine, for example, whether people must perform marriages, because we do know, for example, that those who are on Social Security, if they marry, they will lose one of those benefits, and some of the pension plans are along those same lines. However, if you have the right to have civil unions, you would have the same rights and benefits without losing it because of the word marriage. We're looking at a federal office here. Do you see extending any effort to extend these benefits federally, the benefits of marriage to same-sex couples? It is going to be something that's determined by each state, but I also believe that the Supreme Court is going to decide this issue for us. After the California decision, I, it looks like it probably will go to the, whole, uh, the United States Supreme Court and they would make the decision as to whether or not it's a 14th Amendment violation.